this year I thought I'd, you know, see how dedicated I am and just go for it all. So I signed up for all AP classes, and I don't know, I got a 5.0, so I think it shows I, I did it, so it's hard. It's a pretty big mark. There's very few students that actually take all AP and are successful that way. It's, it is a rare quality. First I have uh, AP uh, US History, zero hour, and then I have uh, AP Calculus, and then uh, AP Language, which is English class, and then I go off campus, and then when I come back, I have uh, AP Biology, uh, AP Spanish, and then AP Physics. Like for my occupation, I want to be a surgeon, mainly a cardiac surgeon. Um, College-wise, just for undergraduate, I'm aiming for somewhere like Stanford or even Princeton because they have a lot of money to offer if you, get, if you go there. So my CNA class is a two-block period, so it's two periods a day. Um, basically what we do is uh, CNA is a certified nursing assistant. Um, so at the end of the year, I can test to get my CNA license, which means I can work at a hospital. I've been playing baseball since, oh shoot, maybe I was seven. Um, and I've pretty much always played infield. And the last two years, I've been on the JV team playing. This year, I made varsity for the first time, so it's pretty exciting. Same number of AP classes next year. You're going to keep pushing for it because I don't want to slow down before college. You know, you got to run through the finish line.